What is my wireless throughput? There's a beautiful one. I love this one. Hey, we got a 802.11g network. 54 megabits per second. So I'm going to do a throughput test. I'm going to put a laptop connected right into my access point, and I'm going to have a laptop wirelessly do a throughput test. <coughs> what am I going to get out of 54? 27. He went like right down, <laughs> right down the middle, Lauren. 10? 22? Anybody do this before? Okay, so we got some numbers and then we get, it depends, right? This is, this is again, yeah, typical. And it's true, because it does depend. It depends on your RF environment, depends on the channel usage, it depends, it depends, it depends, it depends, it depends, it depends, right? So think about this. Right now, let's assume everybody's got a piece of copper at their desk running at 100 meg, full duplex. If I did a throughput test on 100 meg, what would I get? Yeah, 90-ish, right? 90, 99, 94, whatever. Again, it, it kind of depends, but 90-ish. So now I'm going to deploy wireless, and you're going to get 20s, 10. I've seen two. How's that going to go over? Never mind, most people now are running a gig now, but I'm just saying 100 meg, I'm being fairly conservative. So this is what's happening now at work. People have been used to the copper at 100 meg. Even with a laptop, they might have a docking station or something that they plug into, right, wired, and now they've gone wireless, and they've got far less throughput. What is your response to that? 